Hey there, everybody. Hope you're all well. Yes, tell us everyone if they had some questions and I'll give it a go at answering them for you. So let's go. Be get my coaching badges. I think everybody starts somewhere. Um, get my level one. I was buzzing when I got that. Um, I think as a coach at any level, you just, it's just great. And I think coaching badges, definitely. Get my level one was fantastic. I felt like I, I, I belonged as a coach. So we always talk about on podcasts and it could, it's the injury that stopped my career. And, but what happened was um, just playing football for a local team. It was, at, it was like a boggy pitch. It had been raining heavily and it was drying through. So it was a bit uh, dense. I put my studs in, pivoted. And as I went, my knee stayed straight. My leg twisted, uh, which ripped my ACL. Uh, if you're looking at your knee, holding this one, so it's my leg you na naturally goes like this. And my leg went ooh, the wrong direction. So... Yeah, that, that hurt. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, that, that really hurt. Um, and I took a year out, didn't know if I was going to go have the operation or not, decided to. Um, yeah, and if anyone wants to know any questions about that, absolutely, I can, I can talk through that in another video. Discuss all about the rehabilitation um, and what I had to do to get it back up to full strength. No, I didn't. No, I, um, I went through school. I was, I was quite a big lad. I was always a big build. I, I was six foot by the time I'd finished year nine, basically, and probably before that. Um, so I was always pushed towards rugby. I played a lot of rugby growing up as well. Did, I played for a good standard, was a captain of a local rugby team. Um, and I was kind of pushed in that direction. But like I said, I've been a general sports fan. I've kind of played a bit of tennis, cricket, rugby, football, boxing, tie boxing. Um, I even tried jiu-jitsu and was terrible at it. Um, but I, I was always, I didn't really focus my energy on football fully into the last few years. And that was something which I wish someone had guided me on because I think I could have done much better out of it. Um, and that's kind of what drives me in coaching, is looking for uh, them players that just need a bit of guidance or a bit more understanding of what they can achieve if they focus all their energy on one specific thing. That's a good question because I've uh, I had my little ones young. I had my first baby girl when I was twenty, um, followed by two more. Uh, my oldest is six, four, and three. Um, and obviously working full time, coaching part time, and family life, it, you have to have a balance. Um, it has, it, you know, it has its pros and cons. Um, but I try and find a club and find ways and work wise which fits. So. Uh, I was lucky the job I was in, I could work um, flexi, so I could go to and from work, picking the girls up, um, the coaching, I did that on nights uh, that I could, and the girls didn't need me, and then weekends, they would see grandparents when they're at the games, so yeah, it's kind of focusing, so it's tough, it's very tough, you have to be dedicated to what you do, um, and I'm very dedicated in all aspects of work, being a father and football. So putting them together is tricky, but it's, it's manageable. And, you know, again, if anyone ever wants to speak about it, I can do an off-cut video, I can speak to you one-to-one -one about it. Um, but it's definitely doable. And it's definitely doable and it's enjoyable. So I would eat like food, hydrate yourself up. When you come to the game, be mentally prepared for it. Be in the zone, get yourself ready, get yourself familiar with the pitch and who's there. Get yourselves out there, warm up, stretch out well, get the blood going, get the muscles warm, get into the change rooms, listening, bond as a team, on it from the whistle. I've been doing videos for football coaching, I've been trying to get in touch with lads, make sure they're all alright, the players that I look after, teams, I've had a lot of teams get in touch with me about their pre-seasons, I've been pre-season planning for clubs, I've been working as well, um, help building the COVID-19 kits, um, I've been homeschooling my daughters. I've been with the missus doing the garden. We've been decorating the house. So I've been doing loads. So when I was younger, I played for Blocks and Boys. I was there for five or six years, then progressed from them to Adderbury, to Sinclair, uh, Banbury United Development, played for my academy college um, team, the school teams, um, and a couple of Sunday league teams. I think I bring the understanding of players. Um, I'm a very good man manager. Um, I understand where people are coming from and have good empathy for everything like that. So I'm studying sports, fitness and development this September, or October I should say. 
um, at university. So that took me three years to do and hopefully progress full time into a sporting career. I'm a general sports fan, but that's good with boxing. My leadership's very man management, very uh, friendship based with the players, but at the same time very professional. I like to bring uh, a side to the game which is enjoyable, but also has structure. Very attacking, I think football is an attacking sport, therefore we score more goals than you. To keep learning, to keep understanding the game, um, I think it's really important as a coach you develop with squads and don't get left behind. Check out the YouTube channel, loads on there. Thank you. So I continue doing the podcast. Um, I'm trying to get more professionals on there so we can talk about football and kind of get a, a different look on it. So it's not what you just see in the media and the newspaper. It's kind of a backstory or what goes on behind the scenes and in, in the heads of people and what emotions go through the roller coasters of all these journeys. So yeah, we keep going, keep keep getting people on. So do check out the YouTube channel. I do post about it a lot, um, but just keep checking it. They're cool. They're really fun. So this is technically not true, but it is true. The, I was sent to midfield, the ball's come over the top from a goal kick, I've taken a touch and I've hit it on the half volley and it's lobbed the keeper, but as it's gone over his head, it's dropped on the six yard box line and bounced over the bar. So I thought it's called a worldie, I didn't. But technically not true, but it nearly happened. So I've predominantly worked in engineering. Um, I've been working on highways for local council, um, since I was a young age, and now I'm just progressing through football. So my last haircut, funny enough, looking at it here, needs doing big time. I, I'm not brave enough to do it myself. I'm not shaving it all off. I've not got a good shaped head. Absolute mess. So you'll see probably over the next few weeks my videos. I'm slowly getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But it was on the 29th of February. For everyone that's like Tinder. Just go onto the FA website uh, and look at all the courses they've got, the educational side of things. Um, I've done, since July last year, my FA uh, coaching course, I've done Talent Identifier, and I've also done, recently, Disability in Football. Um, so, yeah, all of them are really good. I've enjoyed every single one of them. When you go on these courses, you, you meet people, you network, you have opportunity to talk to other coaches who have the same ambition as you. So it's fantastic, get involved. Social media is key nowadays. You have to be on it, everybody is. Um, you, people need to know what you do. Um, people need to know what you do and social media is a lazy way of getting it out there. I do things on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube now, just so people know what I do and, and know what the service I can provide to them or their team. Um, and yeah, absolutely, and it's like this now. You guys can ask me questions, which you might not see me on the street, so you can ask me now. So thank you very much for everybody that sent them in. I hope this video helped. Like I said, any topic that I spoke about, ping me your message. We can talk about it in more detail. I'm, I'm happy to talk about anything to anyone, um, especially about the ACLs or the balancing work-life football situation. So I'll speak to you soon. Keep watching the videos and subscribe to us on YouTube and Instagram. It's been fantastic.